Welcome to Budget Mama Bookkeeping Services October vlog post. Today we're going to be talking about starting your monthly budget. So when you haven't budgeted before, budgeting can be very, very, very overwhelming. Like how do I start doing this? Like what am I doing? Okay, well I'm going to, I'm going to give you some tips. So number one, gather all of your bank statements, get them, print, download them, print them off as well as any receipts that you've had from the three, the last three to six months. Um, I know a lot of people don't keep receipts anymore, but if you're gonna be doing a monthly budget, you're gonna wanna keep all your receipts. So start keeping them, but let's go back. You're gonna print off all your bank statements, have all your receipts and just like block a couple hours out, okay? You and you by yourself or you and your partner, whomever you're budgeting with, block out some time, clear off a, a surface and sit there and just have everything spread out. So you're gonna be determining which categories you're going to use for your budgeting, okay? So, and that's what you're gonna see how you spend, right? So it kind of helps you determine which the, which categories you have. So within three to six months of, of bank statements, it helps you determine what your typical spending habits are where do you usually spend your money and then of course you're going to add up those amounts and you're going to find out how much you're actually spending every month on those so some examples are and i'm just going to kind of read it to you from my uh, my little clever fox monthly budget i'm not going to show you because this is my own fa personal family budget but i can tell you the different categories that you're looking for you're looking for month monthly mortgage or rent um rental or house insurance, uh, maintenance, so like repairs on your house, things like that. And this is all in pretty much the house category alone. So your utilities, so electricity, water, sewer, um, waste removal or recycling, gas heating, your phone, your TV, your internet, things like that. That's not your cell phone, just your, like say if you have a landline. Okay, another category is food. So you have your your groceries, your cleaning supplies, things like that. And of course, you know, any dining out or takeout that you use. Another category is healthcare. So whether you have like vitamins, prescriptions, um, healthcare premiums, things like that, or chiropractor, you, you know, uh, massage, um, acupuncture, things like that. Next one is transportation. So, you know, say if you're, if you, you primarily use monthly transit, then you would have your transit pass or how much, of, how much that costs or taxi, um, your monthly gas, um, maintenance on your car, your car insurance, things like that. Um, for personal, you're going to have, now this is going to be a range, right? So you're going to have things like clothing, personal care, like your soap, your, um, your shampoos, things like that, um, your gym membership, or even your, like your recreation fees and things like that. Maybe even it's your donation in your, or, or um, things like, or charity, charity expenses that you give to, to every month. It may be um, if you go and get your hair done or your nails, anything like that, salon services, things like that. Um, so it can be your monthly subscriptions, say for a video game or some sort of app or something like that. Those are included in your personal. Uh, even just like even your hobbies, right? Your hobbies may have a particular uh, expense. Say there's even like events that you um, go to that um, you don't necessarily, that you go to on a, on a regular basis um, that charge a fee. You can also put that in there. Uh, gifts, say, you know, you people should have a monthly budget for gifts because there's always somebody's birthday coming around or an anniversary or a holiday coming around. So gifts is another one. Entertainment, any kind of entertainment, movies, um, I don't know why, but I'm only thinking of movies right now. Um, but you get my drift. Um, then you're going to have a category for your 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 debt. So you know, loans, student loans, um, that's separate from your mortgage, anything like that, where you car payment, things like that. You're going to have those listed out. Um, if you say if you have life insurance as well, that's another category, um, or even um, like a RESP for your children, you're going to have that as another category as well. Again, all these things are going to be things that you see in as your basic spending habits, what you spend money on, and then you're going to find those totals and you're going to add them up and put them in there and just see 
how much am I spending every month on average on living? So that's basically how you get started. And from there, next month, I'm going to go a little bit more into detail about how we determine, um, you know, what you should be cutting back on. I've kind of touched on this before, but I think it maybe deserves a revisit now that we're launching our personal family budgeting services. So if you really feel like, you know, I think I probably, like most people can do budgeting. I mean, I'm not going to sit there and say, oh, budgeting, you need to hire me. You can, if you feel like you just need that extra person there to give you some more insight, who's unbiased, who, who, um, that's an unbiased mediator, you know, and things like that to, um, help you make a really solid plan that's viable. Some people, some kind of go in and they maybe cut out too much and it's not, it's not sustainable over a long period of time. So that's where I come in and kind of say, okay, these are ways that you can, um, you know, create a budget that's going to work but also allow you to not just, you know, suck all the joy out of your life either. So anyway, so see you next month in November when we go a little bit more in depth with monthly budgeting.